possibility of amending the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2020. The Speaker says the bill is a popular initiative and cannot be amended by members of Parliament. And as our Parliamentary Affairs reporter Elizabeth Mutuku now reports, a section of members of Parliament allied to ODM boss Raila Odinga have been pushing for the amendments. As Parliament debates the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2020 ahead of voting and its passage in the bicameral House, National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi has ruled out any possibilities of amending the bill. And that's why, Mr. Speaker, I don't agree with those proponents that we cannot amend this bill. If you read Article 257 to the letter, nothing else the authority of Parliament to amend a bill, including a bill such as this. Because it's a popular initiative, you cannot then, you cannot, it is not tenable. It is illogical to, to entertain a view that Parliament can amend it uh, during its consideration. And I think for me, for me, it makes a lot of sense that, uh, because you are not the promoters, if the promoters do not convince the majority of Kenyans at the referendum, then the bill, the bill will be lost. But you cannot hijack the intention of the promoters at parliament level. Addressing the media on Tuesday at parliament buildings, Muturi said the bill is constitutional and popular initiative bill clearing doubts by section of members that the bill was parliamentary and emanated from executive. It is my strong view that this is neither a parliamentary initiative nor is it a popular initiative because those are the only two approaches by which a constitutional amendment can be initiated. It is neither of them. Instead, it is a legal amorphrodite unknown to our constitution, having been initiated by the executive with the unfortunate support of the opposition. And the people were roped in at the very end, in a desperate attempt to sanitize an illegal process. And it does not become executive merely because uh, some minister, cabinet minister, or some principal secretary, or some members of parliament uh, have uh, signed it in support. It suffices that it is still a bill by a popular initiative, not a parliamentary initiative. A parliamentary initiative is the one provided for in Article 256, and such a move does not go to the counties. It is, the requirement is only to publish it for a period of 90 days so that people can, have, um, uh, you know, can look at it and see what it is that um, the, the person desiring to amend through a parliamentary initiative is providing. On controversial creation of an ombudsman office, which is majorly seen as threat to the independence of judiciary, Muturi says the clause will allow JSC to discipline rogue judges, unlike the current setup. If this bill is going, and it is, this bill is going to be taken to a referendum. If the people in the referendum go and pass it and tell you you are, you, you are going to have JSC, you are going to have power to discipline judges. Because currently the only discipline registrars, magistrates, and other judicial officers. They are being given more, more work, to dis more power to discipline those senior ones. You have seen it uh, recently when judges are being interviewed. Once Parliament passes the bill as it is, the bill will proceed to President who will then forward to IBC to organize a referendum. With more interests arising from members of Parliament concerning the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2020, it seems it might take longer in the House before a decision is arrived at. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV 47 Pan Bidings, Nairobi. Still on matters.